moving in. Is it coming yet? <laughs> when is it coming? Here's our chief meteorologist, Kevin Robinson. It's not incoming just yet, but it will be here before the weekend is over. So on the brighter side of things, at least we'll get your weekend. Kick it off with a dry start. Here's a live look from high atop Karoo Tower tonight. It's been a mild April evening so far. 54 degrees at the airport. We've got mostly cloudy skies in place. I'm keeping an eye out for the potential of maybe a little bit of fog late tonight, early tomorrow morning as these two numbers, the dew point and the actual air temperature get really close, we may see some patchy areas of fog develop overnight tonight. We've still got plenty of clouds draped across the Ohio Valley, and these clouds are going to be stubborn and slow to burn off during the morning on Saturday. So outside right now, pretty much everyone hovering in the low to mid 50s. Pick your location. Temperatures really aren't varied too much around the region. Will be a mild night. It'll be a slow fall down through the 50s over the next several hours. In fact, I think we spend the majority of the night in the 50s and maybe briefly dip down into the upper 40s. So here's what to expect this weekend. If you're a bowler, I think you call it a split, right? One side better than the other here. Saturday looks decent. Sunday, not so much. We'll probably have the clouds in the morning tomorrow, and then we'll break our way out into some sunshine by afternoon. Sunday looks wet with some thunder involved. Now, I don't think Sunday's a total washout in the sense it rains all day, but there will certainly be some rain that impacts your outdoor activities. Now, on the brighter side of things, once again, we keep looking for the silver lining in the forecast. At least it's a mild rain going into the weekend here with temperatures expected to be around 70 through much of the upcoming weekend for us. So around the region tonight, you're in the low 50s, 53 in Brookville, Batesville, 52 in Versailles, Mason's at 54, Springboro at 56, Double Nichols in Georgetown and Alexandria. So the tri-state is basically in between weather systems. We have the one weather maker that came through late last night, early this morning, that's scooting off the east coast. And then the next one, the one for Sunday, that promises to bring us the wet weather, just now beginning to get its act together in the plain states. Let me time it out for you here on Futurecast. This is how it plays out. We're quiet tonight, but notice we keep a lot of clouds around, and I suspect it's probably going to take us at least the first half of the day before we see the cloud cover begin to break tomorrow afternoon. So it's still going to be gloomy in the morning, but I believe by evening we're in better shape with some rays of sunshine out there. Skies briefly clear up Saturday night, but that's not for long because by daybreak on Sunday, look at this rain is already working its way up the Ohio River. You'll have the chance for a passing shower in the morning, and then I think you get a little bit of a lull only to see it fill back in with scattered showers and storms in the afternoon and evening. And look at five o'clock. This rain could be heavy again. Some thunder and lightning. So if you're going to the FC Cincinnati soccer match, unfortunately, much like last Saturday, you could get poured on again. The difference this go around, it will be a warm rain versus a cold rain and then maybe a lull Sunday night and we'll probably see more showers and storms, at least some areas on Monday. So for the night, it's quiet, right? Mild, patchy fog, mostly cloudy. 48 for the overnight low and then for tomorrow, mostly cloudy, mild and dry around 70. If we can manage to break out of the clouds a little bit sooner than expected, it's not out of the question. You can go as high as 73 or 74, but I think the clouds are going to be stubborn early tomorrow. There's a look at your day planner. Here's your seven day forecast. All right, a weather impact day on Sunday with the showers and storms that again likely to bleed over some into Monday, a break on Tuesday before more active weather moves in here for the middle of next week. Kevin, thank you. The rest.